Good morning and welcome to Burns Bible Stories for Kids. We do this each Friday morning at about 11 o'clock. You can watch it on YouTube or on Facebook and we're so glad you joined us. Today, it's a story about Saul or Paul and it's called A New Way to See and this is coming from the book of Acts, Romans, Colossians, Ephesians, all of them. All right, of all the people who kept the rules, Saul was the best. I'm good at being good, he would tell you, and he was proud and very good, but he wasn't very nice. Saul hated anyone who loved Jesus. He traveled, around, he traveled around looking for them. He wanted to catch them and put them in prison, and he wanted everyone to forget all about Jesus. He didn't believe Jesus was the rescuer, and he didn't believe Jesus was alive either. You see, Saul had never met Jesus. So one day, Jesus met Saul. Saul was on his way to Damascus when suddenly a dazzling light flashed like lightning. It was brighter than the sun. It was too bright. And Saul shielded his eyes and fell to the ground. He heard a loud voice, and it was too loud. It gave Saul a headache. The loud voice said, Saul, Saul, why are you fighting me? Saul answered, Lord, who are you? The voice said, I am Jesus. When you hurt my friends, you are hurting me too. Saul's whole body trembled, and Jesus said, Go to the city, and I'll tell you what to do. When Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see. His helpers had to hold his hand and lead him like a little child. Saul was blind for three whole days, and he, yet it was as if he was seeing for the very first time. Meanwhile, there was a man called Ananias who loved Jesus, and Jesus came to him in a dream. Go to Saul and pray for him, and I will make him see again. And Ananias knew all about Saul and how he hated Jesus' followers. He said, Lord, he has come to hurt us. But Jesus told Ananias, Saul is the one I've chosen to tell the whole world who I am. So Ananias went to Saul and he said, Brother Saul, it was Jesus you met on the road. And Ananias prayed for Saul. Suddenly Saul could see again, but he saw everything differently. He wasn't mean anymore. He even changed his name from Saul to Paul, which means small and humble, the very opposite of proud. And do you know what Ananias' name means? The Lord is full of grace. And grace is just another word for gift, which is funny because that's just what Paul's message was all about from then on. It's not about keeping the rules that Paul would tell people. You don't have to be good at being good for God to love you. You just have to believe what Jesus has done and follow him. Because it's not about trying, it's about trusting. It's not about rules, it's about grace. God's free gift that cost him everything. What happened to Paul? Well, he met Jesus. Paul got a new job. He called himself a servant and traveled everywhere telling everyone about Jesus. He got shipwrecked three times. He even ended up in prison. He wrote from prison, God loves us. Nothing can ever, no, not ever, separate us from the never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love of God that he showed us in Jesus. And so it was, just as God promised Abraham, that dark night all the years before, the family of God's children grew and grew until one day they would come to number more than even all the stars in the sky. There you go. What a great story about Saul and Paul. And we appreciate you joining us for Burns Bible Stories for Kids. If you got a chance, if you would um, either share us or make a comment or like us or do all of the above, we would really, really appreciate it. And please join us again next Friday morning at 10 o'clock for another Burns Bible Story for Kids right here on Facebook and on YouTube. Thanks. Have a great week.